guys, Jasmine here. So today I'm going to be showing you all how I light my videos for YouTube. And I get tons of requests and comments on how I do this. And so I'm going to be showing you my two different lighting setups, both for day and night. And I really hope you enjoy. And if you do, definitely give it a big thumbs up. So let's get into it. So whenever someone asks me what sort of camera I use, I really try to steer clear of that because really if i had to choose between a really good camera or really good lighting i would definitely hands down choose good lighting lighting is key i remember when i was taking a couple of film classes in undergrad my film professor always always stressed the importance of lighting and how lighting can just change the whole synergy of your film and that sort of thing and the lighting can help you know accurately and clearly showcase what you are trying to show in your videos and it just it just improves the quality of your video overall so if you really wanted to have a really good video make sure your lighting is on point now you don't have to get fancy expensive high-tech lighting no uh, you can get regular lighting from the store like Home Depot or whatever or you can film in front of your window so in the daytime I usually film in front of my window ça, okay and I usually film before 12 or after 2 because when it's high noon my face just looks so exposed and it the, the sun is just so unpredictable around that time so when it's a partly cloudy day it's very frustrating to film because the sun goes in and out and you cannot control the lighting and it then makes your video not look seamless so I try to film on a cloudy day because on a full cloudy day the, the, the light just wraps around your face and just the entire image it just makes everything look soft and diffused and I love 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 that so like on cloudy days on rainy days I try to do that I try to film on those days because my face just be looking like like whoa so I want to talk to you really quick about my camera setup when I film in front of my window. So I try to have the exposure at zero, the ISO at 200, shutter speed at 50, frames per second at 24, and I don't know what the thing is called in the, in the setup menu, but I try to have it at landscape when I'm filming in the daylight, landscape. That's the camera setup that I try to have when I'm filming in the daytime. Now, if the exposure goes below zero, the most I would do is bump the ISO to 400, but no more than 400. And that's how I set up my daytime shooting. So for nighttime shooting, I usually use my artificial lights. Now I have two softbox lights. Alan gave them to me for Christmas. So luckily for me, I didn't have to pay for them because they were pretty expensive, but you don't have to buy softbox lights. There's so many other lighting equipment that you can buy that it's that's not as expensive and that'll get the job done just as good as softbox lighting. So for me though, I have two softbox lights and when I'm filming, I usually film at the foot of my bed, in front of my closet or next to my computer desk and I have the lights on either side of me over here just to wrap the light around my face although one of these days I want to get a ring light because I think it's really nice for like makeup tutorials and stuff just having that ring of light around your eyes that's just me now for camera setup during nighttime shooting I usually again have the ISO at 200 the exposure at zero shutter speed at 50 frames per second at 24 now i do something a little different at nighttime i do a custom white balance which is me just taking a picture of a piece of white anywhere that you know just take a photo of whatever's white and i set a custom white balance and sometimes i do cine style profile instead of landscape but you know, being that I'm not great at post-production lighting, I just stick with landscape and do a custom white balance as such. AP, that's it. Now, if you have a really good editing software such as Final Cut Pro X, you can do post-production lighting, but I'm not experienced enough to show you guys what that looks like for me because <laughs> my post-production lighting kind of sucks. 
fast. I just try to set everything up during production so I don't have to do much in post-production. I really hope that helps you guys. Uh, I hope you find this informative and if you did definitely give me a big thumbs up and feel free to comment down below and let me know what other sort of techie videos you want to see from me next and I'll be sure to look at those and possibly film a video for you guys about that. <laughs> And share this video with everyone, everyone who's into film and photography because these sorts of tips and tricks kind of work together in both film and photography. And of course subscribe to my channel because I make videos every single week just for you. So that's all folks, I really hope you enjoy and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.